Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death. This is the story of Isaac, the reborn mage. And uh, today we're continuing episode 2. I did a little bit of preparation in between the episodes, just showing you what I did. Traveled basically to the College of Winterhold, got ourselves uh, some of the basic starter gear, such as the novice head. Uh, and the novice robes of destruction um, also put on the necklace of frost suppression that we found the last time got ourselves yeah a couple of college boots and that's really what we do have i minimized uh, the um, potions that we do have and just focused on really the equipment that we would need what I've forgotten is to sell all of uh, the items, which I will do now, and then we're going to start uh, our actual bandit hunting. The coin, you've come to the right so here we are. By the way, I uh, forgot to mention it, we reloaded uh, the Staff of Shackles, as well as the Iron Axe of uh, Frost, and we even got ourselves two common soul gems, and on top of that, the college teaches you a couple of free spells, and I got Arcane Ward 1, which will likely um, tend to be a really, really helpful spell for us. Now, what I. I need someone. Ah, well, I paid Sibby. I want you to talk to Sibby. Good. Head to the Rift and you'll be well paid for your time. So, what I find incredibly helpful with the College of Winterhold is that you can get most of uh, the um soul gems there for free come to see Bal without Bal needing to steal them just double checking we're okay on arrows don't need to sell anything we're actually fine thank you I need any more smithing work come see me again and i will need the remaining gold that we do have we are going in to invest that into a horse because if we want to do outdoorsy stuff we might as well get ourselves a horse relatively early with the staff available and recharged. I feel quite confident that we can take up uh, the full armor, heavy armor enemies. Sure, and I'm sure that'll do just fine. Go on ahead. Until next time. Yeah, I don't need the grilled leaks. Anyways. You come to gawk at me or is this... Ah, let me... That is... Cr My... Still, I don't want to cross the truck. Nice try. Then I think we're done talking. Okay, fantastic. Got that one out of the way. there was something that we could pick up that might come in handy later a little bit of coin uh, back for us it's not officially sh uh, stealing as it is not marked. We can use that. Okay, good. Well, it's not going to be uh, come much better than that. I think we've gotten almost everything out of here at the beginning money is uh typed so yeah the soul gem unfortunately is stealing so can't do that time for us to head towards the bandits Time to get a little bit closer, see if we can 
single or double pull. Well, so far that worked out relatively well. Some well-made hide boots could prove to be helpful. Ah, they are pretty heavy. But elsewhere we have almost zero armor. There's one more guard on the back side. Might as well pull them right away before they cause any trouble. Good, he's in heavy armor. Might as well try to out sprint him a little bit. Well, Smetchka is regenerating. Let's just get the alchemical uh, ingredients from here. Out of combat. As you can see, it's quite difficult uh, to uh, sustain with our magicka. Good, now is a good time. Okay, so let's pull them together. Yep, just like this. Yeah. 
Where's my wolf? Oh, right over there, okay. Comparably speaking, I had more difficult encounters, uh, but I'm also used uh, to play a mage. Yeah, we do have chain lightning as a staff. Realized that a little bit too late, so the first kill actually happened here. As the lightning was uh, spilling over. Cool. Very good. Clean first fight. Let me loot everything and get the horse back. Good. We got ourselves a horse finally. Uh, there are quite a few locations that we could uh, do. I think we're going to do the usual route of going to Trevor's Watch via uh, the upper corridor here there are also bandit camps on the very south uh, side that you can do uh, but i prefer this route so that's what we're going to do good time for our first encounter this time for green wall it's going to be a difficult one lots of archers here Trying to conserve ammunition with our bow, uh, with our staff rather. All right, moving far enough away. I don't have the dodge perk yet, so couldn't really uh, do much other than sidestepping, and that didn't work out either. As you can see, our healing is not particularly great. Yeah, and we do have damage uh, fall off and quite sizable arrow fall off. We're far enough away so that they won't bother us. Too far. Trying to hit a nice two for one there. Okay, that was good. There we go. Two down. Quite a few more to go. Still one more on that rooftop. Let's hope our doggo can sniff him out. And 
terms of boots, we still have those college boots. I think the leather boots finally are a bit better. Right, I still don't want to get hit by an archer. In the early game, they are pretty much the hard counter for what we're trying to do. Doggo took the first shot. And... That was good. All right. Well done overall. There's still an inside which we need to tackle. But before we do that, let's double check the outside. I swear there was a chest, but I might have been wrong. Two guys up here. Did have Skoma. Which is why they were moving quite fast. Alright, so... Looking at what? Looking at a refill. So let's rebuff and get this one going. triggered even more okay oh boy what a slog single ended uh, power attack and we almost got downed and none of these guys has something to eat it's unbelievable Literally anything would do, just not my decent food that I have with me. Okay, at the beginning, mana regeneration is really poor. So what we're going to do is Magicka here and... Unfortunately, we're not considered to be out of combat. Good 
with that broader slightly above the toxicity level. Okay, we definitely need to rebuff. I wish we had funeral rites just to get something out of the corpses here. Yeah, that's not going to fly. I'm not strong enough. I could use the charges of my staff, but I don't want to. On the other hand, these guys give decent XP, so why not? Let's try to do it. And back. take those spittles because they are actually quite valuable they make for very decent poison uh, can't do that now but we will come definitely come back for that one But we could sleep here. Won't do that. Instead, let's get back up and do the boss. Perfect timing to have uh, these bottled waters. Gotta kill this guy first. Now oh, she remains the problem. Oh, no, it's not an exit. Need more space to kite her. Oh boy, close. Never fight with a mage in close quarters, specifically not against high-level bandits.
I tell you what, that was good enough. I mean, we don't need to kill her. There's no bounty on her head. Yeah, granted, she would uh, give a couple good uh, diluted, likely. But I will just go on to the next fight to live another day. See you later. Okay, my partner in crime came in. Even better. Well, that worked well. Let's rebuff. Couldn't kill her. Unfortunate. But we can try to use exactly that uh, weapon right there. And lightning bolt staff is certainly also an option. Still thinking about whether or not we want to whether or not we want to go with a normal armor. All right, we're overloaded, that's not good. I tell you what, the bow was nice, but I don't see that going anywhere. And we need a little bit extra room. Elven boots might be a straight upgrade for us. I think yes. We don't need any of uh, the low quality food. We could use healing potions. That potion of regeneration will go a long way. So the idea of this particular segment is get a couple of good hits in and then get out.
Close, as always. Stupid archers. All right. See if we can or should kite them out here. Not sure if I lost all of the support of my friends, but it seems no one is here. So naturally what we're going to do is heal up and try to get back in. Well, shielding at the beginning is so underwhelming. It gets really good later, but the regeneration is just underwhelming at the beginning. Okay, cool. So, we killed quite a few. And I was really happy with the lightning shackles. It's a good one. And let's repoison our weapon, which apparently is already poisoned. think we're through not sure but I think we got them all invisibility that's great lots of armor that we do not need I will definitely need to come back with a few knock scrolls and a way to open that But yeah, uh, I think the fortress is ours. Let me trade in the quest and also get the bounty. That was rough, but the last fight was really epic. I liked how they were charging towards us. Just found a couple more enemies. Wasn't expecting them, to be honest. And apparently the boss is also here.
Well, that was not only one, but quite a few enemies. Tell you what, we're going to use our other staff. Because I was about to get rid of uh, that. Very good. Now finally it tracks. I was wondering why exactly... Did we get an update? That explains it. Surpassing potion. Nicely hidden back there. And once we're at it, might as well level up because uh, this is likely going to be... I'll double check if this is the end of the episode. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. So let's get Conjuration further up. And let's get Alteration further up. Very important level. Going to go into stamina. But our perk definitely goes into dodge. Finally. That'll make a huge difference. So you're telling me I still can't do that? Tell you what, we're fortifying our health. It's still not working, okay. More archers. Thank you. Not sure why my lightning staff was not hitting at all. We have one enemy to go. Indeed, this ends now, right now.
Nice, expert ropes. Exactly what we were looking for. Cool, that's a huge upgrade for us. Not only the conjuration is cheaper, but also more re uh, regeneration. Disenchanting that. Learning a new enchantment. And whilst we're at it, we even got quite a bit uh, more experience. Conjuration. I tell you what, I think we're okay for now. I would rather, with 25, take a powered alteration as well as apprentice alteration and improved mage armor. So we'll save the perk, just level up alteration, and then we're good. Cool. Dungeon was longer than expected. I'll see if we do have some time left over. I think overall it's a good time uh, to end the episode here. Got to level up and Isaac has really done well. We'll continue with some more bandit hunting the next time. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed uh, the episode, feel free to shoot a lightning bolt right to the like button and see you then. Bye bye.